But even in an editorial in today's Wall Street Journal, Donald Trump still bemoaning it, saying that the system is essentially rigged. David Bossy, Citizens United president. He has no horse in this race that I believe of, David. But what do you make of these ongoing protests? Because certainly Donald Trump isn't letting go. His supporters aren't letting go. What do you think? Well, look, I think it's I could see both sides of this coin, actually, uh, Neil. It's it's it, each state is able to make their own rules. And these rules have been in place for a year. Donald Trump lost and he lost all of the delegates. And I understand that he feels the polling showed he would have done very well in Colorado. And therefore, he wants to bemoan the system. He also is trying to establish a record, in my opinion. And, it, and that record is if he doesn't win the nomination, he is able to use this record as part of that defense about how the system is rigged against him. I think him. you're exactly right. I think you're exactly right, David, which should worry you because I agree with you and you should run the other way. <laughs> but, David, one of the things I think is I, I think Trump is, is crazy like a fox. He knew exactly what the rules were going in. He took Colorado right. for granted. He thought he might win those delegates. Uh, he skipped the convention thinking that, that that was a lock for him. And he doesn't like the results. That's, that's all well and good. But he has made this sort of like a populist cause and thrown up sort of like a light here and a beacon to say that any other such delegations that go to, let's say, Ted Cruz, are fixed delegations. So if he were to lose 130 to even, as the Washington Post says, up to 170 such delegates, uncommitted slates that would ultimately potentially move to Ted Cruz, it's a sham and his opponent cheated. What do you think? Yeah, look, you know, and that's my problem. I don't necessarily agree with that. These rules have been in place. These are the same fundamental rules that have been in place for, you know, over 100 years for the Republicans. Look, I think that the, Donald Trump's doing a service in that if the Republicans call for an autopsy post, just like they did in 2012 post-election, they could do an autopsy and find in the states what worked well and what did not work well. And maybe Colorado will go by the didn't work so well side of things. But the bottom line is he might be doing a service for future elections. But let's not forget that these were the Mitt Romney rules put in place in 2012, uh, really, uh, to stop uh, Ron Paul. So we can thank the establishment for a lot of what's going on here today. And Donald Trump and Ted Cruz are both but not uh, a year ago when these rules were put in place were not the candidates they thought they'd be trying to protect. You hit on another key point. These very changes that Trump bemoans.